Hello, it's me, Sportsman Z, Bob Zolke, and I'm here today with my brother Jim, and Dave Mazzini is back from last week. You may remember him in the divisional round picks. And um, just to recap last week, uh, Chris Dufour, Dave Mazzini, and I picked all four games, and we got, all of us only got one right. I got the L.A. game right, and they got the Bengals game right. And that was it. <laughs> so we have, uh, we have the matchups that we have. But first, I want to open it up to the forum to talk about this great past weekend of football games, which, according to Rich Eisen, was the best ever playoff um, weekend, he said, there's never even been a playoff, like an entire playoffs in a season that had as many games that were as good as the games that were played on, um, on Saturday and Sunday. And it happened all in one weekend this year. So what do you guys think about? It? He is correct. All yes, right. I agree. But then I think, I don't know what those other games were, the before then, but this weekend, the every game ended on the last possession, which I, I mean, I don't think that's ever happened. Four games, yeah. Um, the Bucks game was surprisingly close. I thought that game was over, despite Bray. I mean, a twenty-seven to three. Then my son reminded me of the Super Bowl, and I was like, "Hey, maybe you're right." You know, then, I, I mean, he was. They right. said he that right. on the game. They talked about the Super Bowl. And I was like, "Yeah, but that's not going to happen again." <laughs> There's no way that could happen again. No or, <laughs> I, I took a break. I came back to the game. I was like, oh, 27 13. And then, and then they, and then two fourth downs where they didn't get it. And it's like four and a half minutes left. I'm like, there's really no way unless they score like right now. And they're like, okay, 36 seconds later, Mike Evans touchdown. I was like, all right, they got a chance. And then, but only if, but only if LA goes three and out. And they did. And then, and then they, I don't know, the defense. I mean, I guess, I guess it was a bad call on defense, but Cooper Cup is incredible, like unguardable. He's yeah. Most yards ever in a season. Like, that having I, been I, said, I, LA did do their best to hand to uh, him. Oh, yeah. Well, the two fumbles, I mean, the fumble at the one right before the half, and then the, the, the fumble, huge. you know, with 36 seconds left, whatever it was. But really, I mean, even even the Rams, they, they left Jalen Ramsey on the island all alone, and I understand he's the best uh, cornerback in the NFL, but why don't you just double Mike Evans and put Jalen Ramsey on the other side of the field guarding the other guy? Then you got two people on their best player, and your best player's taken out their second option. There's probably nowhere for Brady to go. Yeah, I love that Ram Evans burned Ramsey because he is. I, I I don't know. I don't. I, there's some arrogant guys I've liked, obviously over the years. You guys know that. Some reason I'm always up for a good game. <laughs> but the the Bengals game was. I'm I'm, I'm a new. Uh, you know, I'm not a bandwagon jumper, but I'm I love, I'm going to just follow the Bengals and ride that out until Dallas figures out their situation, which will be never. I mean, you can't you can't root against Joe Burrow. I don't think he's. It's a great. Young quarterback, great kid. He's unflappable. He's confident, but not like he a right there. <laughs> yeah. What's that? <laughs> uh, are you hinting at your pick? You're, you're already AFC. giving away your AFC pick. <laughs> I, I mean, they're playing the Chiefs, but I mean, I, I'd love to see the Bengals go to the Super Bowl, you know? Yeah. But, and then the Buffalo game was like, and I, I hate rooting for Buffalo, but like, I, I couldn't deny it. Like, Buffalo did one thing wrong and that was not squib the kick yeah. i watched i was i watched all that game like josh allen it made no mistakes that you don't well, know shit, it, even if it hits but say they squib and it doesn't go and it bounces off somebody that you're you're looking at like eight seconds you know because of a scrum mm -hmm. you know and they're not going to call pi on a hail mary oh here comes doof there he is I can see him trying to get in. Do I like the, the helmet? Basement. I like the baseball helmet. What's going What's on? 
John What's everybody Orwell's doing? here. Uh, I know. It's a yeah. journey. Well, yeah. So what so, about those games? Dude, what are, I, I mean, mean, I was telling we were just, my we were in-laws talking, last night. Huh? We were just talking about the Buccaneers game. Yeah. Uh, the whole weekend was amazing, right? And I was just saying to my wife, I was like, every game, like, up the awesomeness of the game before it. It was like, you couldn't even think after the Bucks game that it, the next game could be awesome. And as Dave pointed out last night, uh, last week's show, there is no way that game was going to live up to its hype, except it surpassed its hype. Yeah. It was one of the very NFL games that actually surpassed the hype around it. I mean, I it was – I said to my in-laws last night, I said, you guys don't understand. They, they actually watched – the Bills game with me, watch the end of the Bucks game and then the Bills game. Her mother probably has never watched football in her life. And they and they were just like amazed. And I was like, this is the greatest, I think, and I hate, I hate this whole kind of tradition or trend of where everyone says the latest is the greatest. But I have to say, I honestly believe that weekend was the all four games together, the greatest divisional weekend ever in the NFL. And I've been watching football. Divisional playoffs since 1974. I've never seen anything like it. It was amazing. Well, divisional, yeah, but it might have been. It might be the best playoffs just because of that. You know, I mean, the Super Bowl is gonna have a hard time living up to that. Some people. Yeah, I was telling. I was telling these Chiefs, guys. Rich Bills, Eisen. Rich Super Eisen Bowl. said that there has never, even in in the entire NFL playoffs for any single season, there has never been four games like those four games, and it happened yeah. one week. I don't care what the Super Bowl does. I, what, who cares? You had four games within four, 24 hours of each other that were incredible. Yeah. I mean, so I mean, how, I don't even know how the Super Bowl would begin to live. One game would begin to live up to that. You, you'll never get that. That's what was so cool about it was having four games within 24 hours that were just so tightly contested and really just so dramatic. Like, I was just thinking today, I mean, because of yesterday, the fact that the Bengals went into Tennessee and ups and are in the AFC Championship for the first time since 1988, that's like the fourth story on the list. You know, like, yeah. oh, the Bengals, right, we forgot about the Bengals because the next three games were amazing. Because, oh, by the way, after the Bengals knocked off the one seed, oh, yeah, the 49ers blocked a punt in the snow with four and a half minutes to go to tie the Packers and then beat them on the last play of the game, knocking off that one seed. And, oh, yeah, after that, Tom as Brady Jim, came back from 27 to 3. As Jim to pointed out, we may after end up. after that, Stafford hit Krupp Cup twice to, to win the game. And, oh, yeah, oh, after that, the Chiefs, the Bills, 25 points in a minute 54. And then, oh, oh, by the way, with 13 seconds left and down by three, the Chiefs finally somehow managed to tie the game. What? And then, oh, yeah, after that, the Chiefs won the game in overtime. I mean, yeah. how is that even a – that's not even reality. That whole scenario, that's, I mean, look at Jim's face. He's about to break up. So as he, he never seen anything like it either. And I've known this guy's whole life. I have not. Yeah, as, you know, as Jim pointed out, we may end up with another San Francisco-Cincinnati three. Super well, three, but not, not, not one since 1988. So it's like there's a whole generation that doesn't even know what Cincinnati-San Francisco is, you know. You could, do, you could like, see oh. Niners, Niners, repeat of Niners, Chiefs. Um, yeah, a couple Chiefs. years ago. Yeah. Or it could be just, uh, you know, Rams Chiefs, which would be fun. Well, yeah, the Rams. Remember the game? Remember the Rams Chiefs game a few years ago? It was like 51 45 or something. That was crazy. Monday, yeah. Monday night game. That Monday night game. game. I was just going to say it was on Monday night. Yeah. 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 And I, I mean, look Rams, at the Niners. Rams man. won that game, right? Remember when we were talking last week and, and we were both, I think Dave and I were both like, man, Niners defense. They're not going to – they can't stop Green Bay. There's no way. Those guys aren't going to play. And then all of a sudden there's Bowser. There's the – what's that guy's name, Dave? 54? Fred, Fred Warner. He's on the field. And I'm like, these guys are out there on the field. That's crazy. And they're playing – they played well. And, man, they played great. amazing. Amazing. San Francisco beat Ro Green Bay without an offensive touchdown. Rod Rogers, I mean, but people are talking about this. Rogers' legacy is tarnished. Like, they, they – I've heard a crazy stat. The Packers have more home playoff losses than anyone in the last twenty years. Yeah. And like they, Lam yeah, going to I mean, Lambeau Field, it's like this mystique now. But if you actually look at the numbers, going to Lambeau Field is not an advantage to the Packers anymore. 
You can, you can even ask the 40, the 49ers own Aaron Rodgers in the playoffs. Yeah, you know, they're you know 4-0. What? The flip side of that stat is you have to be in the playoffs a lot to have the most losses. In the playoffs. So. But then, again, you're looking at Rodgers' 17 seasons. He's been to one Super Bowl. He's lost – he's – so that you know, and he's and I like Aaron Rodgers, but I'm not. I'm looking like he's he's constantly like pointing to like other reasons why they don't advance, and it's like, well, you're the you're the constant. Maybe you have maybe you have to own some of that, you know? Yeah, maybe. But listen, in ten years, Rodgers is going to have a bust in Canton, and no one's going to care how tarnished his reputation is. He's still going to be. I, I, I wouldn't say it's tarnished. Yeah, he's still going to be Hall of Famer, and I still like him as a quarterback. I kind of like the guy, but like to be like that, everyone's talking about to be the upper echelon. He's not going to be in that tier with like Elway and Manning because if he only has one ring, he's t- talent wise, he's like incredible. But he's, who knows? I don't think people, once you get into the Hall of Fame, I don't think people break it down that much. He is going to be next to Montana and he's going to be next to Elway and he's going to be next to Manning. And so he's going to be in the Hall of Fame. He will be considered in the upper echelon. There's no doubt. Yeah, but people still don't talk about Dan Marino, and it's because he didn't win it. Yeah, it's like Marino, the great arm talent, but, you know. But he did get to the Super Bowl in 1985, only to lose to the great Joe Montana. Montana. Joe Cool, right? Joe Cool, baby. You watching it? Anybody checking it out? It's a great documentary series on Pete Collins. No, I, I have not seen it. Oh, it's awesome. You gotta watch it, Dave. You love football. I do. Dave is a big football. That's why he's on the show, right, Bob? That is exactly why he's on the show. I watched All Madden. Did you watch that, Doof? Oh, that was awesome. That was awesome. I need to watch that. I mean, too. the documentaries that people are making today, it, it's just insane how good they are. I mean, it's just <laughs> unbelievable the talent out there to make good documentaries. And I'm loving it, man. I think it's a it, because I'm loving it because they're all about guys that I watched growing up, you know? All right, so let's get into some picks. We got let's get into AF- it. We got an AFC championship game coming up on Sunday, and that'll be the 3 p.m. game, I believe. And um, and again, I take issue with this NFL the way they do this. Like, why? How come you can never have a one? You can't have a one o'clock game. I swear to God, you wake up looking for stuff to, to moan about. I, mean, I do. I, I I'm do. happy that there's three and six thirty. I'm, I'm it, glad. Maybe because no, now Bob, this never occurred to you. I know it never ever occurred to you, but they are playing college basketball, and college basketball usually has the noon time slot, especially in January and February. Get yes. out of here with that. But anyway, <laughs> I mean, where do you want him to go? He's right. <laughs> college basketball is very popular. Even though, very lucrative. even though you pretend it doesn't exist. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So the uh, three the three p.m. game is the Bengals are traveling to Kansas City yeah. to take on the Kansas City Chiefs, who just s- scored a field goal, got into field goal range with thirteen seconds, and then won an overtime against a high powered Bills team that. What, thought they won the game like three different times after the two minute warning, and they didn't. Greatest, so, great, great game, just amazing. Yeah. So I am going to turn it over to you guys first to get your picks in that particular game, and we all we already know Dave is. I'll let you lead it out, Dave. You think the Bengals are going to win? Oh, uh, I don't know if they are. I mean, it's I don't want to. I I, I actually love Mahomes. I shouldn't like Tariq Hill because he, you know, he's got some personal issues. But I love the I love watching the Chiefs. I want the Bengals to win though. Um, and they did. If remember, they did beat the Chiefs straight up at the end of the year. Um, which Big I think gave them up in Cincinnati. Yeah, they gave them a lot of. I think it gave them a lot of momentum. And Joe Burrow like shredded that defense, shredded. So I mean, yeah, they'll make adjustments. But I mean, I don't know if was uh, Matthew injured. He, is he, he went. He got. He was concussed yesterday, right? Yeah, he was beginning, beginning of the game. Yeah, That's a big issue. Back. I cannot see it. I'm hoping it's like the Bills game. But I'm gonna. I'm gonna lead with my. Not that I'm a longtime Bengals fan, but I like Joe Burrow. I love Jamar Chase. He's, I get him play like a rookie. 
Um, they have just as many weapons. So it's going to come down to like Burrow and Mahomes and then maybe whoever makes a play on defense. But – and the Bengals surprised me. They played – great defense in the Tennessee game despite missing their best tackle. So I'm gonna I'm gonna say that I'm gonna lean I'm gonna go with the Bengals. I, I maybe a lot hopefully a lot uh hopefully that game took a ton out of the Chiefs and the Bengals can figure out a way to beat them. You know, I could see it like 31, you know, 26. All right, Jim not that we're, not that we're doing scores but that game. Uh, I think if Joe Burrow gets sacked nine times again, that the Chiefs are going to win. <laughs> um, but I, I, I think the Chiefs are going to win anyways. Um, I love Joe Burrow, um, and I love what he's doing, and I think he's one of the best young QBs in the game. You know, this whole Joe Burrow, Patrick Mahomes, Josh Allen triangle is like, I think in – 20 years who's ever doing one of these uh, sportsman Z's is going to be like, those three were great. Um, so I think the Chiefs are going to win. I think it's going to be tough to keep them under 40, but like 41, 30. All right. And Doof, I don't know what happened to Doof. I don't see him. Does anybody else? You he didn't like point. my pick. He must not have liked my pick. Jimmy makes a good point with the whole line. I forgot all about the nine sacks, but you're right. If, and they got a couple good pass rushers, but that, that's the Bengals better figure it out how to protect Joe. What's awesome about him is like he was sacked that many times and still yeah. cool. He didn't like. Yeah. Oof, what happened? He just kept going. Go? Internet connection went boop. We got Mazzini boarded to death. So it's just but that's in. the thing. Oh yeah, my and, and god! That, ouch! <laughs> just, man, what were you guys saying? That, that's what I liked about Burrow. He got sacked nine times, and he still kept getting up and coming after him. But, yeah, gutsy, uh, gutsy. I, I, I went. Yeah, I went Jim 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 forty-one thirty, doof. Yeah. Well, listen. Well, no, there's no way. Gonna 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 yeah. No way. Well, I love. I love that. If that means there is a way, just if by writing them off. It should be noted that every time I've said there's no way all season to Bob when we've done our picks, weekly picks, the, the team that I've said no way about somehow lost. So there's that, that should definitely buoy uh, David's optimism. But, uh, you know, one well, thing about know, Huh? And, the, well, we'll get to that when we get to that game. But anyway, um, yeah, so who we got? Yeah, I was going to say Burrow's uh, – dinged up he got kicked in the knee a couple weeks ago not this game and so if you noticed he can't move he can move forward but he's not running out of the pocket he has no he has no uh ability to get outside the pocket he's had, he's really struggling moving uh laterally so i think uh obviously if, if i noticed that and everybody else that i know has noticed that then the chiefs have noticed that so i think that's going to be an issue uh and i don't i don't I don't see how the Bengals – I don't think the Bengals are going to stop the Chiefs. But let me say this about me, not to make it personal. I am I am, uh, I am. am totally – this is the second week in a row I've gone with a pick based on how a team has played in the previous week against an opponent. And I hate that. Like, uh, that's the wrong way to think about things. So, sure, there's a way the Bengals can win this game. I, I think the Chiefs are going to win probably – what did you say, Jimmy? 41-30. I said it'd be tough to keep Mahomes under 40. Yeah, I'm going to go 35-17, Chiefs. I'm going to go a little lower. All right, I'm going to go. I'm I'm taking the Chiefs to win as well. So the only one taking Cincinnati right now is Dave. Hey, and when he wins, he'll be standing tall with a big smile. Right, over he may it. be the I'm only not, person that gets that one right. But. That Mazzini guy, he's magic. Hey, you hear what Joe Burrow said? Uh, McPherson, uh, their rookie kicker, right before he went on the field to cook the winning field goal, he goes, looks like we're going to the AFC Championship. <laughs> hey, Jim remembers this. I, I love those Stratomatic Bengals teams. Rodney Holman, Eddie Brown, Tim McGee. Yeah, Tim James, McGee. Br James, James Brooks and Boomer Esiason. That, how did that team not win a Super Bowl? And then you Two do words. Like, like, Joe I'm, Montana. Joe Mon I know, exactly. <laughs> And they were so close. 
They were so close. That was a good Bengal team, man. That was a no. So that good. Bengal team in history is totally underrated. Collinsworth was yeah. on that team too. Who was well, the? Was who was the? Oh, Dave. Who no, was the Oh yeah, like Collinsworth was on the earlier one. Yeah, sorry. The he was under. He was gone by the. What's that, Jimmy? The corner, the corner from Oklahoma, or the linebacker from Oklahoma that was on that Cincinnati team. Was he later? Is that the one who he ended up? He, uh, he got yeah. his the one who. Oh boy, YouTube upgraded his meaning. That means they must be really liking what we're talking about. Good job, Mazzini. All person? right, who 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 are the uh, who are the Chiefs Bengals playing? What's that other game? Yeah. <laughs> the other game, the other game on. Sunday at 6.30 is going to be San Francisco at Los Angeles. The Los Angeles Rams, that would be. You're right. So far. And, uh, and, and I do want to point out that um, last week when we all said that, I think we, yes, we did all say that Green Bay was going to win. And um, my cousin Matt was a little salty about the fact that we all picked Green Bay to win. Matt Wallace, he's been he's been watching us. He's on me. He's he on is. me all the time now. He is. I mean, he's on me all the time. Now. He, he's he's begging Bob to pick the Niners or or not pick the Niners. Or not pick. Them. Yeah, because every time during the season, there was only like two or three. Like he pointed out, there was only two or three times where I picked against uh, the 49ers and they actually lost. But every other time that I picked against them, they won. So, I am going to lead it out and say, yes, I'm picking against the 49ers. I am taking L.A. <laughs> to win that game. Mm -hmm. Yes, Matt, I'm taking L.A. <laughs> he knew it already, though. <laughs> yes, he knew. <laughs> he knew that was coming. I told him on Facebook a couple of days ago, I said, I'll probably pick L.A. I know. He said, yeah, yeah, Matt said on Facebook, he said, please, please pick against the 49ers. And then you said, you know what? I, I probably am going to. <laughs> yeah, I, I just don't, I don't, I don't know how they're doing it. It's like crazy. Coaching. Yeah, it's all coaching. It's all Kyle Shanahan. Yeah. But they only scored 13 points and seven, six of them came off a block punt. So it can't be too much Kyle Shanahan, right? Right. Well, other uh, there's other coaches on the team. Where Are they we good? Were, well, apparently the special teams coach is solid. I heard they, man, they were just, they were just killing the Green Bay special teams coach. All who's yesterday. the, who's the, who's it? D'Amico Ryans? Is he the coach for the defense? For the Green Bay? No, for, uh, oh, for the 49ers. 49ers. I think it's D'Amico Ryans. He's like not he's, – he's, he's still going to be playing. <laughs> he did an incredible job against the Packers. Yeah. No, they did. They did a great job. Yeah, well, San Francisco has a good defense, especially when it's healthy, which I'm not sure just how healthy it's going to be. But. And look, at they made, they made an adjust. Like Green Bay walked down the field, scored a touchdown, and then proceeded to do nothing the rest yeah. of the game. Yeah, I mean, so it that, was, that was so amazing. That, so, was again, amazing. going back, not to belabor how – crappy and shitty excuse me the dallas cowboys uh -oh, are that's a profanity it, it, point right there it, i know i'm sorry in game in, in game in game adjustments dallas just doesn't do them the niners domingo ryan's is like oh we're gonna do this now and game over for the pretty much kept them in the game long enough for the special teams to make a play so yeah. that, that's how the niners are doing it it's coaching it's it's it and another cool thing did you see the game winning field goal yeah. by the Niners, watch it again and watch the long snapper. Yeah. As soon as that ball, that guy runs and gets the ball, like with the ball still in the air and he's sprinting towards the goalpost to go get the ball. Like they're they're like a complete team. They're like the, not the most talented team, but they're like tight knit. And they, like I, you know, I don't know who I think I'm gonna. I want to pick the Rams, but I'm gonna go Niners. All right, Niners, Bengals. Round three. That would be amazing, Dave. I hope you're right. I and the Niners own the Rams. We, we yeah, so they do. yeah, no, just they yeah, own they, the Rams. Yeah, they do. So that would I don't even know. I mean, Matt Wallace, if you're listening, we, we, if that happens, I might have to pick the 49ers. That would be. We'll see. So Matt Wallace, I've never met you, but mm -hmm. like the Niners are going to win the game someday. All right. So uh, so Duke, what do you think of this game? I can't, I'm going to utter a sentence I never thought I would ever utter in my life. <clears throat> I love 
the way Matt Stafford is playing football. <laughs> I have never said that. Lately, he's I, been very good. But I do. Now, listen. And listen, I, Cooper Cup, man. I knew Cooper that Cup. dude was going to be good. I did. I, I'm not patting myself on the back. I'm sure a lot of people did. Two, three years ago, whatever. I knew he was going to be good. But where – and he's taken his game to a level that I – it's not even conscious. It's <laughs> like the dude's a, the best player on the field. And I'm like, that is – the dude came from Eastern Kentucky. I mean, it's just Blocks wild. Too. I love stories like this. He blocks, too. Like, he's big in the No, he's a complete game. football player. Yeah. I like the Rams' offense a lot. And listen, how can you not like their defense? I mean, you can't – you could say, well, I don't like their defense because they gave up 24 points and let Tom Brady back in the game. But, I mean, I, I like their defense. I like it against Garoppolo a lot better than I like it against Brady. Uh, so, I'm going <laughs> to – I'm taking the Rams, Matt. Cooper Cup also he one his one weakness in his game is his beard. I love that beard. No, it, it reminds me of Bob's. It's wild. It's wild and rambly, man. <laughs> I'll tell you when I knew my my football career was over, and it had nothing to do with college or high school. It was a Thanksgiving break day, Thanksgiving day, maybe the day before Thanksgiving Day game, where we went over by to Ross Corner somewhere, and we were playing like four on four or five on five. We couldn't get a lot of guys. And Mazzini blew by me like I was just standing there like a like a prop. And I was like, well, that's it. I'm old. Man, this is too good for me. I mean, he flew by me like he was on a motorcycle. Well, that must, you can't play both positions, that, Bobby. Yeah. <laughs> All right, so, Jim, who you got in that game? Uh, you know, I think our cousin Matt Wallace knows who's I, who I'm picking. Um there, there is no way on this earth I will ever root for the San Francisco 49ers. There you There's go. There's no way I will ever pick them. Seattle fan. <laughs> That's coming from um, Seattle. Wow. I'm just not going to do it. So. Is that – okay, can I just ask, because I might be wrong, I don't know my bridge as well, but is that the Golden State Bridge behind you? The, the Golden Gate, not the Golden, Golden Gate State. Bridge is behind the Golden you. Golden Gate as you Bridge, utter, yes. That you can never that's... root for the 49ers. I, well, I love the city. They're in the same division them. as the Rams is the same division. Yeah, I know it is, but it the Rams are not the 49ers. Plus, is I like the story. You know what? I, I like I like the Matt Stafford story. I, I root for him. I yeah. mean there there's a there's a small part of me that wants to see the battle of the SEC quarterbacks, the one from yesteryear and the one that just graduated. You, you know, know when um <clears throat> when when Green Bay was eliminated, um I I, uh, I got a, a a buddy that lives hey Olivia special guest appearance. Yeah. Oh you want... <laughs> okay. got a... I'll be there in a second. There's a buddy of mine that uh that lives near us. Uh, Kevin, and he's a he's a Minnesota Vikings fan. Cat lover. A and after the game, I sent him that meme with the no Super Bowl for you with the soup Nazi. Mm -hmm. I texted that to him, but he texted me back, and he said, I knew you'd have something. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, so where are we at? Who, who, have you so picked I'm this just, game, Bob? Is everyone taking Yeah, the, yeah, I picked the game. I, I'm taking L.A. Everybody's taking Three Rams LA. and one 49 Dave. Dave is taking San Francisco. Just like so the Dave's last got game. a completely different Super Bowl than the other three. Yeah. 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 We all have I Rams, Chiefs, and he's guys, got Niners, Bengals. I love it. You guys went with the obvious picks. Of course we did. You went chalk. <laughs> yeah. And, all chalk and you know what? I just want to point out that we did that last weekend, and it got us a one and three record. Yes, it did. So... So, no, I was zero and zero. I was 500. Well, right. Yeah. You were too way yeah. too busy to, to join this circus. <laughs> <laughs> if, you, if you're being honest, if, if, would, what teams would you have picked? Like who, in your me? mind, yeah. Like I don't, you have nothing to gain by being like, yeah, I was four and oh, but like, would, I would, I would have picked the Bengals, but I would have picked the Bucks um, and the Bills. And the and the Packers because I actually thought it would be a Bills Packers. Bob knows I emailed him or texted him. I thought it was going to be I'll Bills see. Packers, but um, one and three as well. My Listen, only guys. I guess my only upset would have been, well, no, I guess the Bills over the Chiefs. But 
we can talk um, about how somebody went one and three, somebody went two and zero, oh, somebody went four and zero, oh, two and two. But let's face it; I mean, these games all ended on the last play of the game, yeah. and they're all separated by three, what three point six points for the Chiefs. But I mean, I mean, it was ridiculously close and unbelievably tight all 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 weekend. So. You know, I don't feel bad about my one and three in the least bit. <laughs> I was like, those games are just crazy. I mean, you know, we're all 13 seconds away from being two and two. This in here. He knew. You got our picks. And I want to hear your comments. I want to see your comments below in the uh, in the uh, comment section. And let me know who all you guys are picking. But you got the panel's picks. And that's going to be it for me. Sportsman Z, Bob Zolke, signing off. Peace.